Hey, this is Naltzer, and this is a first look at the Tier 10 British battleship Conqueror. So here it is, the Tier 10 British Battleship Conqueror. It is going to be conquering some enemy forces in this game. As far as my build is concerned, I don't have a 19 skill British Battleship Commander right now. And I'm thinking that between Vigilance and Superintendent, it's like 1A, 1B. Those two skills are really important for not only the Conqueror, but for most of the British Battleships because they bleed out a lot. They don't have a lot of health, as you can see. 82,000 is not very impressive, or 83,000, sorry. Not very impressive. It relies heavily on its ability to heal itself. So I would highly recommend, after you've picked up concealment and you've went through, you go back and get superintendent or vigilance, whichever one you didn't take the first go around, and it's gonna feel a lot better, a lot more comfortable to control. As far as this game is concerned, I have chosen to use the 419mm guns for a couple reasons. First of all, I really prefer 12 guns to 8. If I choose to use the 457, I have to sacrifice one gun per turret. They have the same rate of fire, the same range. 457 has better alpha damage, slightly, obviously, and it can penetrate more armor angling that the 419 can't. However, the 457 cannot overmatch 32 millimeter bows. So the big benefit of a large caliber gun is not available on this ship in the 457 variant. That's why I chose the 419. I will absolutely play the 457, but the 419 feels really good so far. So let's start this the right way. What are we going to be doing in the Conqueror? Well, I'm going to be taking advantage of that 11.1 kilometer detection range. It's the best in class. It's fantastic. As someone who has fallen in love with the high tier American battleships, this is just more of the same in that regard. You are a super heavy cruiser. You can get into positions where the enemy just will not expect you to be and you will blow them away. We get a little bit of damage on the Shimakaze. I'm not afraid to fire. There's a lot of islands in between my ship and a lot of battleships. And any chip damage that I can get on this guy will make it easier for my team. I always see players, and I, I don't know why I always see this. I expect that if you see red, it needs to be dead, right? But I always see players ignoring the existence of destroyers, expecting that, you know what? Someone else is gonna deal with it, but can someone else do 6,000 in a salvo and really assist your teammates? You know, there's not a lot of ships out there. I think battleships would absolutely benefit if you were one of those players. Most of the people who watch me definitely treat destroyers with the respect they deserve. Kill them, kill them fast, and kill them hard. But if you were one of those people that were like, eh, you know what, destroyers are just not my jam. I've got to go after the cruisers and the battleships. Well, you're missing out. And you don't want to leave those torpedoes up. Now, I don't know if I said this, but this is quite literally the first game I've played in the Conqueror. I typed it in chat, you probably saw it if you didn't, and I was excited. I was I was jacked up. This was like 4 a.m. and I'm going, oh, I gotta get content for you guys because you're excited right after I did Untitled. I didn't know which ship would have a successful game. And then this game came out of that. And, you know, so far we're operating near our teammates who are capturing A-Point. I'm trying to take advantage of the islands broadside on a couple targets, missing a little bit in my location. User error, definitely not anything at fault with this ship. But we're still not really in a position where we've captured the base and there's a clear target to work on. This Bismarck is dealing and I am hoping that I can rotate around the island to fire on him. 
elevate the gun a little bit, do a quick check. We did clip a little bit of the mountain, but we did also clip a little bit of the Bismarck, and he dies. So some people would have said, oh well, the Nelson had a crappy Citadel. Does this have a crappy Citadel? It does not. The Citadel is very low. It is very reminiscent of something like an American battleship. It's difficult to hit unless you obviously know exactly where to aim and you have the benefit of good dispersion, all that stuff. So I caught sight of a destroyer and I wanted to do a snapshot just to get some damage on him. Clearly did not work. We slammed it in the island, but I am operating around islands, so I'm very much not visible to the enemy's specific deployment. This won't work every single time, but when you see that three and four and five enemy ships are using the giant hill, or gi giant island, I guess, in the back. And of course, we shoot right as the friendlies take out the target. He was just too juicy. Everyone knew he was going to die. But when you see a lot of enemy ships, and they're sort of trying to line a sight together around one particular island, and if there's any stragglers that are away from it, you can just destroy them. Too many people on the enemy team are stacked up tight on that island, and they don't have line of sight to punish most of my team. And that's a big deal. We don't get any damage on the enemy destroyer. He's very low. So is the enemy New Orleans. And oh, look, the Montana has pulled an officer on that carcass. I believe it's a Montana. And I'm sure he's gonna be like, oh no, no, don't shoot, don't shoot me. Oh, we're gonna shoot you. We're gonna shoot you for that citadel. I'm just hoping I hit it. Uh, uh, friendly destroyer is giving us some smoke. Really appreciate it. Definitely let one fire burn. Your damage control is not as good as you would hope on the ship. They definitely want you to understand that you will take dot damage and heal through it. Don't you dare put out one fire. I made that mistake a couple times. With the Nelson, don't ever make a mistake with that on any of the new British battleships. Don't do that. It's definitely a 2 plus fire requirement before you use damage control. And even if there is a torpedo threat, like there kind of is, you really don't want to use it. Because the torpedoes will screw you up, man. A minute, 15 seconds on the premium damage control. I've even considered a build that might include Jack of all trades. I am using Jack Dunkirk, so my turret traverse is probably a little bit faster than it would normally be in average. I would definitely prefer to put someone like Jack Dunkirk with the improved expert marksman. He's got smoke too, but who gives a crap about that? And then Jack of all trades. I would take Jack of all trades and the improved expert marksman on my British battleships. And that seems pretty good. You notice there's no aircraft. There's nothing else other than your heal. And you get one less heal charge because it's so powerful. Theoretically, if I didn't have Superintendent, which I don't, and I wasn't using Premium, I would only have two heals. Two heals to last me 20 minutes. You absolutely want Premium, and you absolutely want to eventually pick up Superintendent. Superintendent, I think, is mandatory on the British battleships, and I also think Vigilance is mandatory on the British battleships. And this little cheeky New Orleans, he thought he could come out from behind. Didn't work out. Didn't work out for him at all. And we're bringing this back. The enemy team is very bolstered, very bow on, tanky around the island. We were able to capture the base. They do have two bases to our one. So if they get one or two free kills, then we're still at a disadvantage. A noticeable disadvantage. Plus, there are two enemy... Minotaurs somewhere in the center of the map behind islands and this enemy Hindenburg is trying to take out friendlies in the south so I was like eh, you know what I've got good speed I was using the signal flag for speed it's about 31 knots with that I'm gonna head over and well never mind basically the first shell that hits the target citadels him and takes him out so I'm gonna just head over to the southern flank a little bit maybe get a good angle so incoming battleship shells won't completely destroy me. We're going to heal back up after the fire that uh, we eventually took before. And that heal is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. You might start out with 83,000. 
but you can heal for 20,000 in a clip. That, it can't be understated. I don't know how the game calculates the, uh, the achievement for healing. I'll heal like 120% of your health. I bet you it's going to be extremely easy to earn on your British battleships. Daily, probably. We missed a little bit with the location. The Montana did not miss with his location on the Henry. Is it Henry? Is it Henry? Yeah. He did not miss at all and uh, blew up that tier 10 cruiser. Right? And just like that, they have two bases to R1 and the teams are very equal. Very, very equal. The two enemy Minotaurs are still over by B point and the friendly Edinburgh apparently wants to go out and face them. I don't know how how good that actually will be. I was keying off the fact that he was doing that, and I am firing behind islands, so I'm not really detected. The enemy Minotaur is behind islands. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try and escort the Edinburgh while firing on the Montana. When we run into the enemy Minotaurs, they won't be able to do anything. My rate of fire is pretty nice. I've got the reload module, as you saw in the beginning. I could get it out about 25 seconds. That's pretty fair. And it's 12 guns. 12! 12 guns are usually better against low health targets, low armored. They usually have to make a sacrifice, right? The more guns you have, the smaller the caliber per each gun. The Montana is extremely good at killing something like the Minotaur or Destroyer. Conquerors just like that. But the cool thing about the Conqueror is you can kind of tailor it to your playstyle. If you want it closer to the Yamato, you can do it. Or closer to the Montana, you can do that as well. And I prefer the playstyle of the Montana. I've already talked about this in other videos, but I just want to let you know. It feels pretty good, pretty accurate. I feel very confident in pushing forward, especially with this good concealment. That can't be understated. My concealment is the best in the game as a battleship at this tier. No other battleship can outspot me. The only thing that is sort of a weak point is that its air detection is worse than its sea detection. And yep, here, sure enough, the Edinburgh is caught out against the enemy Minotaur. The Minotaur will eat him up, and we gotta hit the shot. He's moving away slightly. I elevate the gun and I draw it in. I'm hoping, come on, take this guy out. Yes, we take him out and look, look the Edinburgh, barely alive, right? Two or three more salvos and he would have been gone. I don't think that the Edinburgh really should have done that, but it was good that I was in the area, right? And he thanks me, I appreciate that he recognizes that he's alive because teammates were around to help him. That was a suicidal play by him, but you know, it worked out. And the enemy Montana's bow onto my position. I switch to HE just in case, you know, maybe he's gonna heal himself up. You can't angle against HE. Fortunately, the friendly takes him out. Unfortunately, I have HE loaded against a broadside Minotaur <laughs> and I'm going, ah, damn it. Switch back to AP. HE fire at the target, probably gonna, yep, yeah, miss him completely. A little bit of incapacitation, just superficial at that point. Enemy Friedrich de Grossa is also coming forward. And the enemy team is gonna win this game if we don't do something. Edinburgh is gonna make a play on B point. I'm also going to B point, and I'm gonna fire at the Friedrich de Grossa. Don't fire at the waterline against Germans. Fire up mid hull. You will get basically the equivalent of Citadel damage mid hull they just absorb so much damage oh so much damage it, it works out very well no different on the conqueror than any other battleship that's just battleship 101 if you see a german you fire at the top of the hull the enemy monitor is going around i am considering firing on him and it does look like he's keen off to turn tight so i drew in the shot a little bit obviously i didn't have the benefit of accuracy because he dropped off, except for a couple of shots. So, you know, it's it's whatever, right? We did a little bit of damage, we didn't take any damage, and we're feeling good. We're feeling really, really good. I still have two charges. 
I still basically have 120,000 health sitting on the ship ready to use. That's pretty ridiculous. And we get a quick sight of the Montana. Looks like maybe the Grozovoy. Grozovoy might be engaging him. Ooh, well, the Montana got him. And I was, I was really worried that I would not have a chance to refire and shoot at him. But notice what Citizen Soldier said. Monty is dead. So he feels confident that his torpedoes are on target, and they are. He takes out the Montana. And good job, Grozovoy. We needed that. The Montana could potentially rotate around the island, and then we'd sort of be in a pincer. There wouldn't be a flank that I could completely protect. For the Edinburgh, is completely out in the open. He's going to die. He's so dead. Yep. Minotaur is so ruthless. And we're detected. Hmm. That's got to be the Minotaur, clearly. And the Friedrich der Gross is in the background. We can't kill him in one shot. So I'm going to unload and expect torpedoes. So I'm sort of going to angle back. Torpedoes did midship. Ooh, we did a lot of damage. 19, I didn't think we'd get that close. I thought we'd get maybe 10,000, but not 19. We take two torpedoes. I have to put the flood out. I just have to. Now the Minotaur could go to the other side of the ship and then send more torpedoes. That's my, that's very much on my mind. And we are still detected. He's using his hydroacoustic. He doesn't have radar. At least I don't think so. This has to be hydro because we're just so close. Friendly. Missouri has a great angle on him, and I'm just trying to rotate back, maybe draw off from the island to get me an angle just to shoot at him. But then I realized, oh wait, it's a Minotaur. He's going to go into his smoke. I've got to get close, or the Missouri has to get close enough to use his radar. So I ended up turning into him, hoping that he's not going to send torpedoes, and hopefully I get a broadside shot. And there you go. First game ever in The Conqueror, and we absolutely wiped out the enemies in rapid succession. Four kills, five citadels, 193,000 damage done, a base capture, 2,565 base XP. Good job, friendly Missouri. Good job, friendly Grozovoy. And yeah, we did all AP. Didn't really need a chance to get HE on the target. The one shot we took, we missed. The Conqueror is pretty fun. I look forward to playing it on the stream right now. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.